So now we're going to look at how we're going to evaluate uh, a classification model, whether it's an SVM or perceptron or a base classifier. If you guys remember, we've seen that before. Now we can compare base classifier with SVM, how they work, how their theories are derived from completely different uh, viewpoints. Um, one is based on stats, the other one is based on optimization, right? So here, what do we have? We have uh, a set of points, okay? So these are the positive samples. So this is actually the positive space and this is the negative space because the majority of the negative samples, they lie in the space, okay? And Let's look at these definitions. So the first definition is what, of a true positive point. So this is, you know, a positive point that lies in the, on the positive side of the boundary. So it's correctly classified. Then we have what we call a false negative. A false negative, it's like, it's not like truly classified. Basically, it's a negative point that was classified in the positive side, right? And then we also have what we call on the other side, the true negative. So this is a negative point that was classified correctly and then we have what we call a false positive so that's a positive point that was classified as a negative okay so if you get these these four definitions correctly then we can derive the accuracy sensitivity and specificity and even other measures so let's first define p as the number of um all you know positive samples lying on the positive side so so this is equal to uh, tp the true positive plus the false negative Okay, so these are the number of samples, uh, P, and then the N is like all samples lying on the other side, which is the FP plus the TN. Okay, so that's quite easy. And actually, if you get one right, you can see we're just, you know, flipping those, right? So it's like, you know, um, TP, the T becomes an F and P becomes an N, and that's how you get it. But it's, it should be easy to uh, memorize and remember, recall this, okay? Now, how we define those? So the accuracy is defined as true negative and true positive. So we look only at the correctly classified points divided by the number of samples, n plus p. So n plus p is like all points together, okay? And then we define another measure called sensitivity. So it's also called the recall uh, measure hit rate or true positive rate. True positive rate because we were defining the number of truly you know, like the true positive samples, like the correctly positive uh, classified samples by all number of uh, samples lying on the positive side of the hyperplane. So this basically evaluates the ability of the classifier to identify only positive samples, okay? Now, the other one is kind of the opposite because we're dividing the true negative by uh, the negative samples, and here it evaluates the ability of the classifier to identify negative samples, okay? So these are the three measures that are commonly used to evaluate the, classific the classifier performance. So these measures, all of them, they vary between zero and one. So one is a maximum. It means like it's a perfect, you know, classification. So if you multiply by 100, you can turn this to a percentage, right? Like a 66%, for example, classification rate. So this means that their classifier is good. This one, it means it's bad, right? So let's look at this example, this final example. So here, we have a very simple case, so let's compute. Can you guys, you know, just take pen and paper and write the accuracy? So it should be very straightforward, but I would like you to write it down, okay? Apply these formula. So... Quite easy, right? Okay, so the accuracy 
It's true negative plus true positive. So these are the true positive, okay, three points, plus true negative divided by the number of points. We have nine, right? Then sensitivity is the true positive, right? So true positive, we have three points divided by the positive that's divided by five, right? And the specificity is the true negative. So these are, you know, truly like negative samples correctly classified. So we have three divided by what? The number of samples lying on the negative side. So that's a four. And now we got basically our measures and you can multiply them by 100 to get it in percentage. Okay, great. So that's that for today.